Welcome to support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, I'll talk about how to resolve the error. Forecast server is not available. Please try to forecast later that you receive in Control Enterprise Manager client when you try to open a job or a service in forecast domain. Let's say when you are performing a forecast from Control and Workload Automation client and you receive the following message that says forecast server is not available please try to forecast later forecast server component in configuration manager being not defined with the proper GUI server name is a cause for this message let's take a look at how we can resolve this in control and configuration manager or ccm in the control and configuration manager right click on the GUI server component and click on properties Note the name that is given to the GUI server component in the properties window. Since now we know what the GUI server component name is defined as, we can verify this in the forecast server properties. Let's close the GUI server properties window, then right click on the forecast server and click properties. Notice that the GUI server name is defined incorrectly in the forecast server properties. To correct this, we will need to delete the current forecast server and define a new one. First, let's stop the forecast server by right-clicking on the forecast server component and select desired state to down. You can check the status of the forecast server state by doing a refresh. Next, once a forecast server is down, right click on the forecast server again and click delete to remove it. Once you remove the existing forecast server, click on new on the top ribbon and select control M EM component. Next under component section, select forecast server. Desired state can be left to be up. And for the GUI server, enter the name of your GUI server as exactly as you found it in your GUI server properties earlier. If the value for your GUI server name in its properties was left blank, then you can leave the GUI server field blank as well when defining a new forecast server. Click OK to finish defining your new forecast server. It should auto-populate under Control M EM components and start up by itself. Once a forecast server state ch changes to up, you can open up your Control M workload automation client. If you already had the client open, you need to log off and log back in. Once a client is loaded, you should now be able to open forecast from the domain selector and perform a forecast. Thank you for your time and I hope you find this video helpful.